Good morning. Welcome to Diatribes from the Voice of Doom. And now here's your exciting and infuriated host, the Voice of Doom. Good morning. It's the early hours. Couldn't sleep. So I thought I'd do a little diatribing. And I'm kind of fired up today, so I put on a sparkly shirt. Didn't really plan out much for this show because I watched the news a little bit, snippets of this and that, and got infuriated. It's like, I'm just going to do what this show was supposed to do, and that's forecast doom and get pissed off about everything. I mean, just everything pissed about everything and I'm gonna get mad but first I'd like to say you know thanks for listening to my saga of 2020 and it kind of was draining because everything I said was true I mean no artistic license or embellishment and I didn't even get into things you know graphically but you know, if I get any kind of notice, which I doubt, and people want to try to convince someone else that maybe they should use a different route than using juices and natural remedies to cure, you know, obvious cancer, I mean, you know, I'll be glad to describe what they're going to be looking at in detail, and they won't want to do it. I mean, I'm not the biggest advocate of the establishment or medical industrial complex, but I mean, I like to think we're doing our best. I don't want to get too much into this. You know, I like to think that the cancer research is legitimate. And I really think that maybe the key, and I hate to even say this because I know nothing, but I think the key to, you know, these cancers are going to be the mRNAs somehow for cancer. I'm not going to go into that. I'm going to be banned. And I'm going to be banned even if anybody notices this video because I'm going to really get angry because I've been watching the news and it's just not going to... We can't let this go on. I mean, we're really... Time is running short. And both tribes, man, I don't advocate either one of them. I don't give a crap really sick of it. One tribe is thinking they're going to change the world by, well, even the country, just by saying we're going to force different people to do different things, whether they want to or not. I mean, I don't care that you're not qualified to be an engineer. You're the right color or right race to be an engineer, so go build a bridge. Go build a huge bridge, you know, a double-decker one. It goes across, you know, vast amounts of water. You know, just build a pylon and put a bridge up because, you know, I mean, we had to push you through college just to make sure that we had the right balance. Come on. I'm, I'm going to get angry. Um, that's one tribe. The other tribe, well, the only way we're going to get this country on track is at the ballot box. Oh my God, did you see the ballot box? The ballot box is a crate floating in the middle of the damn Pacific Ocean. Stupid. Did anybody notice the last election or was it just me? I know they report things, but they're not, you know, I'll report it, but I won't think about it because I'm just gonna report it. Or I'm a commentator, but I'm not gonna say, hey, this is all, I mean, totally effed up got to be stopped. And I'm talking about, first of all, I do kind of agree with one of the idiots, tribes, about maybe federalizing the voting system so that it's more efficient. But I think we're past that. Voting is, forget that. I mean, really forget it. You guys don't know anything. Do you? All right, I'm going to start getting angry. And I'm going to start really losing it. I firmly believe in generational theory, and if you don't know what that is, it's that there's every generation 
goes in cycles. And I've looked at history, and it rings true. It is, there is a pattern in time, and I believe that because I believe in the oneness of life and all phenomena. And that's a Buddhist thing, and it has to do with, with rhythm of the universe and cause and effect and negative and positive forces in the universe that are physical in an atom and they're, they're physical or maybe metaphysical in life. And that's the way it is. And I'm tired of really arguing about it. You can't get away from cause and effect. I don't care what you say about, I wasn't responsible for all those people dying. Why do you say that? It was my opponent. They're using this for political gain. And I did everything right. Every politician in America has done everything right. Every one of them. Because I never heard anyone say they ever did anything wrong. So, therefore, it stands to reason that America is a paradise right now. It should be the ideal country. Every major problem has been solved because no politician has ever made a mistake. No one's ever done anything wrong. I mean, it's obvious. Have you ever seen a politician do anything wrong? We put like two politicians in jail in the last 50, 60 years. Come on. For, oh, you uh, talk to your butler's, you know, wife's girlfriend and whatever, I don't know. Some stupid thing, they connect the dots of some stupid crime that's ridiculous. You know, you took, you didn't pay taxes on your gardener's salary. Oh, brother. I mean, I'm not condoning anything, but come on. One side might get away with just absolutely raping the country dry of funds and putting it in their own coffers, and the other side is like, uh, you know, you jaywalked three times in one month and cited many times, so it's time to have a recall. So I'm sick of politics because it's almost too late for that. Forget about the election. There's not going to be one, and if there is one, it'll be fraudulent. Or maybe they'll just vie with each other to see who can cheat the most. So forget that. And forget the election in 2024 because, I mean, unless somebody wants to rule a smoking pit, you know, <coughs> finally got to be president. Too bad the place is totally destroyed. We are in the fourth turning in generational theory. Do you understand what that means? And it's going to happen and it's going to be bad. Really, really bad. And I'm going to get angry because I don't want to see everything blow up. Everybody thinks they're exempt. We've had it so good. And they don't even say they've had it good. They just, they've had it good. Everybody, all of us. We've had it really, really good. We've never really been in the kind of crisis that they were in December 7, 1941, when half of, most of Europe was overrun by fascists. Africa was being overrun by fascists. And then over here, our entire, you know, Pacific fleet gets sunk. So now we're at war on two fronts, and people, and it's not the kind of war like let's drop a few bombs on them and let's send a few drones over. Come on, that was a war. That was a huge thing. People died, and I understand some tribes going, you know, we have to stand up for the country that people died for, and I do understand that when they really died for the country, which they did, because we could have been speaking German right now, and that's a truth. We could be speaking Japanese. Now, I'm not going to go into whether that would be good or bad. I'm just going to say, yeah, butts saved. Um, and it's going to happen again, but I don't think it's going to be nationalistic. I think nationalism is over. I mean, obviously it's over because there's no border, and I'm not big on borders, but I am big on security as far as you know, who's here and who's not, and I think right now they're so far off the track that they're hitting off the track and off a cliff with this train, and it's uh, the abyss. I mean, I can come up with a lot of freaking synonyms or adjectives, abyss, you know, the end, the pit, the fall. I'm going to get all tongue-tied when I say I know all these words. That's typical, because I get angry, and there's righteous anger, and people go, why are you uh, angry all the time, or whatever, and it's like, because I kind of care about the planet, and I care about it not that we should not, you know, we shouldn't put 
oil in pipelines. That's ridiculous. We should put them in trucks and drive, drive the oil. That makes way more sense than using pipelines. So that's, you know, caring about the planet. I care about the planet, our existence. I, I might get banned. I really believe that like six billion people are in peril, are in danger of dying in the next two or three years. Not 2055 and all these other little conspiracy theories. I'm talking 2022. And even some of the weirder prophecies I've delved into. 2020 and 2022 are very significant years. And I'm not superstitious, but I do know that life and all phenomena are connected. And that means that there's mysterious things out there and mysterious patterns and it's a mystic law. And, you know, I look at the news and it's like, oh, I didn't do it. And, you know, I only wanted to sell my book and, you know, I didn't really know that, you know, they don't even say that. They say somebody else or how dare you, how dare you insinuate. That's an insult to the victims that you would insinuate I did something wrong. Politicians, round them up and get draconian. Um, I'm going to rant a bit more. I think I got a little more excited than I thought I would. But I will say, got new energy of anger now. And cause and effect is very strict. It really doesn't matter. People can say whatever they want about their behavior. The universal forces, whatever they are, call it God, are going to give you the retribution that you deserve. And don't look for a redemption from whatever. The only redemption you're going to get is, you know, waking up to the fact that you got retribution coming. And nobody really wants to pay for their sins. That's not good because nobody wants to be nailed to a cross. But we're all going to pay. We're not exempt. And people seem to be real casual. Oh, we're all angry about this side. And the other side is like totally, you know, lunatic. It's like they come up with these ridiculous scenarios of we have to circumvent certain things from happening by you know, sabotaging something that's not there. It's almost, well, it is insane, but it's beyond insane. i got to make up some new words. I'll think about that for the next one because I'm going to rant for a few episodes and then I'll go back to 2021 and the aftermath because that ties in with the world because you can't help it. The world's gone. I mean, when I say to the dogs, it's like, that's just a euphemism kind of cute. I mean, we're seriously heading towards self-destruction, and if we're in the fourth turning, and it seems to me that every conflagration at the end of the fourth turning has been progressively worse, exponentially. So it stands to reason that this fourth turning is going to be really, really bad, and if everybody thinks, you know, we've always been okay, don't do that no more. I'm telling you right now, I don't have much time with this, you know, I really feel like time's running out, and these guys are wasting time. They're talking, you know, the election, that's how we'll show our displeasure is at the ballot box. Ugh, I hate hearing that. I've heard that for 50 freaking years. And that's not, no. And I'm not saying revolution. I'm saying we got to work together and really face what we're looking at. And we're looking at totalitarianism on a grand scale, way bigger than Hitler ever could think of being. You guys are dumb. And I almost think everybody deserves what they got coming. But <clears throat> I'm hoping that I will live up to my own, you know, prophecies and I'm prepared to a certain extent to survive, you know. And I'm not a prepper, but I just like to think ahead. And what I think ahead is really bad. And I think I'm kind of getting in the groove of what I, what I want this show to be. Just utter, raw anger and ranting. And I, everybody should know I'm right. And if you don't, well, I'm not going to say things that will get me a ban before even... They won't even put it on YouTube if I say certain things. So 
Um, it was fun. I started off the morning, got some energy out. So we'll see how it goes with this mode. I'm going to stay in this mode for a while. Thanks, everybody, and enjoy the morning.